Hello, I am Jamie Fetzer, and for the Art 1510 Artist Research Project, I decided to investigate Flo Brooks, a new favorite artist of mine. Flo Brooks is an award-winning contemporary artist located in the United Kingdom, specifically Cornwall. He has been a part of both solo and group exhibitions across three continents. Through his artwork, Brooks has explored connections between humans whether that be himself and select historical figures, social relationships in public spaces, or perception of the human body in different contexts. Brooks primarily works with acrylic paint on alternative materials, such as found fabric and shaped wood panels, which not only provide interesting textures, but this gives his artwork more dimension by not having outer bounds with the wooden panels often having multiple pieces supporting the same work. The use of reclaimed materials is impressive and provides further support to the arguments made through his art. Brooks uses his work to draw attention to different points of his own self-reflection in an attempt to provoke deeper thought in others about feminism, issues within the LGBTQ plus community and rural archetypes, all things he identifies with. His studio approach is about personal experience and striving to share his with others. Brooks's project Scrubbers from 2018 is a new favorite of mine. The pieces in this installation show both the patrons of public spaces and the people tasked with keeping these spaces clean, existing at the same time as a dichotomy. Cleanliness is juxtaposed with the filth created by society and each disrupts the function of the other. The elements of these pieces are so inherently human, even if some of them are controversial or arguably, arguably disgusting. By shedding light on this side of humanity, Brooks is helping to destigmatize the human body. In today's society, there's a great deal of pressure to control oneself and hide the darkest parts, but that serves no one. Part of consumerism seeing as we live in a consumer society, is changing to fit into the ideal body. But the shame behind that is just harmful. Brooks captures the tension cre created by this control and calls attention to the, how wrong it is to see either side of cleanliness as filthy. Focusing less on the impact on individuals Brooks uses different shades of irony to bring attention to different discriminatory issues without being inherently political. Using elements of the art to target hygiene being used as a weapon in gentrification through exclusive establishments such as gyms, coffee shops, and the incorporation of commodities not available to everyone. Further, the treatment of mental and physical illness is portrayed as being of equal importance as human waste, shown within the plumbing, as a call out to the fact that illness is seen as something to be rid of in our society. Many conditions don't need a cure, so viewing them as a problem is, again, harmful to people's psyche. Finally, addressing the fact that scrubbing and other maintenance occupations are predominantly filled by women and racial minorities in first world countries. This is just a harsh stereotype and calling attention to that is, while dramatic, it's necessary. In this particular piece of the exhibition, the themes discussed previously are incorporated seamlessly. The fluidity of the work is beautiful and one of the first things noticed, followed by the contrasting depiction of waste, human, medical, plastic, chemical, all waste. And all of it is produced by human presence. And despite the efforts of the scrubbers, the subjects in these portraits, nothing is clean. All the elements, all the small elements of this painting appear used or dirtied in some form. The indifference on the faces of the subjects is striking, border, bordering on apathetic especially considering the empathy of their actions. Many of the subjects are in positions of caring for others. They all, however, care not 
for the state of their surroundings, whether they are tasked with cleaning or the ones creating the mess. The lack of emotion really plays into the idea that we are living in a factory of our own creation acting as machines. Each piece in this installation blends into the next, and I appreciate the cohesiveness of the color and texture across the paintings. Brooks created perfect pieces to an overarching puzzle of human nature. Concluding with my sources, all images from this presentation were taken from Brooks's website or social media. However, I also linked the article through which I first discovered Flo Brooks's work. If you have not heard of him before, I definitely recommend checking out his work. Thank you.